the owners of the Texas Rangers and some like an owner of the Houston Rockets making an investment in esports because they see right like if you look at traditional sports, uh, like how many kids are actually sitting in front of the TV watching a football game nowadays? Yeah, for they're sure they're not. Yeah, it's all right here, and and uh, you know being the smart businessmen that, that that they are, and 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 I I have no obviously you know like those those are people that I appreciate. You know, and and I still hold a good relationship with them, right? It's not it's not different, but they wanted to invest in 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 new sports, new sports. What is new sports? What esports? What, where are the kids watching, and consuming content? They saw an opportunity in esports. They looked like, well, who's the biggest, the baddest, and the brightest? And they saw Optic, and we made a deal happen. And what year was this? Uh, 2017. There was a lot of science that were telling me like, yeah, do this thing, do this thing, do this thing. But I saw down the line, I saw what was going to happen to the space. Uh, I knew that. Uh, the way that I was operating my business, which was a break-even business, uh, but we were all having fun, so no one really cared. We paid our, uh, my wife and I paid ourselves last for the past, until, up until 2017. So from th- 2009, when I've been telling her, like, hey, hey, we're gonna, you know, this is gonna work, <laughs> there was still like an additional, you know, 10 years oh, where- Yeah, I uh, got a question though. Seven years, yeah. 2009, you're playing these tournaments. What's the pay then to the pay now, Well, uh, if you win? Yeah, so the players were competing for like $10,000 prize pools. In 2009. In 2009. Split between four people. Okay. And, and, and it was like a $25,000 prize pool, but 10000 went to first place, so they would each mm-hmm. make 2500 bucks. Okay. Now, now there's a, there's a game called Dota. It's, 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 uh, it's the one that everybody looks to because of yeah. how crazy it is. Mm-hmm. They, they play for $28 million. What? Yeah. There's one tournament. One tournament. It's called the International. $28 million. I think it was more. Uh, like, it could have been way more. It was, it was definitely more than golf, more than the than than yeah. Wimbledon. Yeah. It was that. And that was the prize pool. The first people take, I think, uh, the majority of that, and that split amongst six, pe- six people. So you can make $3 million and, or whatever. And, yeah. and, so here's, I have a question. So who puts that money up? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Like, yeah. Like, who, this money who's putting from? that money up and how do they get paid back to like be able to put that money out you'll hear some crazy shit yeah in dota specifically it's crowdfunded what so you buy a skin you buy an outfit in, in yeah, the yeah, game, right like you, you you buy your nft yeah in game and that's what your character wears but by doing that you're also supporting a price pool of your favorite game and you want to see the best of the best compete in oh that's cool yeah so people buy this thing and you know look think about it right it's only 38 million dollars which means that Valve, the owners of, of the game, yeah. pocketed 60% or that's 40% of the 60%. So yeah. they get to keep the 60% and they need it because they need to operate. I mean, yeah, it's, their company. it's magical, right? Like yeah. it, the, the, Valve is Counter-Strike, right? Valve is Counter-Strike, yeah. Yeah.